This boss is from another game. When you approach the Wind Temple for the first time and complete the various puzzles, you see this boss named Kolgera. Kolgera's fight is climactic, as is the music, probably my favorite track on the entire game. But the boss is from another game. If you look back to Wind Waker, at its fitting Wind Temple, there is a boss in the sand that rises up for a grand fight. This boss is named Molgara, and usually a hookshot would be helpful, but we don't need those in Tears of the Kingdom when we have arrows. Or if you remember, you can just uh, dive through the dragon. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Don't think I wouldn't catch this reused asset. I'm just kidding. This boss was a lot of fun, and I like that Kolgara has no explanation for it being reincarnated. In fact, I think that fans are going to be punching air trying to piece together which timeline we are even in. Follow for more.